One more time. Cabiesios. Give Jesus a clap. Give Jesus a clap. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. I was born since you were born 1984 1980 something but now you are getting younger I've never seen the law celebrate God celebrate God celebrate God Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came and gave a Thank you for this life, Lord. Thank you for the nail pieces. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I believe you are clapping for Jesus Christ. Wow. I salute your faith. It takes absolute faith to find comfort in his presence. Thank you. Elohim. 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 Yes. Mighty God lives in us. Thank you. You're welcome. You may have your seats in the presence. Yes. I decided to surprise my team. I know they were preparing for testimony, trying to do this and that. But God gave me an assignment. And God's instructions supersedes all. So I'm very sorry. I know those of you that really want to share your testimony, please bear with us. Come next Sunday. You will come out and share your testimony. Because God wants to come down in a mighty way today. So for that reason, the Lord says to me that, remember what the people are crying about, what they are lamenting about, what is giving them so much concern in their lives came into their lives in the night. And it has to leave in the morning. Therefore, I should not allow morning to appear without asking the Lord that created heaven and earth to vacate your problems this night. Yeah. But before then, we have lots to do. And we trust him for a mighty move. So we're going to look into the scriptures to prepare ourselves for what the Lord has in store for us. Take note of every word I'm going to utter. They are, with due respect, prophetic. Revelations has come, revelations have come, but God has not given me the grace to release them specifically but they will be packaged in this message you're about to listen to now now for when you write today's date down when they will start unfolding you and I will witness it I repeat exactly the usual quotes from my mentor, blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. A servant of God who is enjoying little grace. Let me use the word little grace to put pride and arrogance to shame. I'm really cool. Little grace <laughs> shall prophesy that which he shall live to see accomplished. So with due respect, take note, write it down, and to this date, write it down. You will live to know that God is great. Yes, the message, the prophetic message 
is titled Judgment is at hand due to lack of genuine love. Judgment is at hand due to lack of genuine love. And if time permits us, because I want to do snappy before morning, we need to instruct all those problems that visited you in the night to vacate this morning. So I'm going to take you to some books. If time permits, I will go to the wall. Otherwise, I would take just one or two to buttress the very points I have to relate to you. The first book is the book of John, chapter 13. I will take my reading from verses 12 to 14, if time permits. When you get home, you can read from verses 1 through the end. And also, we shall look into the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, from verses 4 to 13, if time permits. And also, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. And the last but not the least, the book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 11, verses 27 to 28. Remember the prophetic message. Judgment is at hand due to lack of genuine love. So let me take you to the scriptures, which is the standard for our lives. The only book that can transform When it comes to the Holy Bible, other books bow because they only inform you about events, history, your studies, of course. But when it comes to the Holy Bible, it is the only genuine book that can transform your lives. It reads you even as you read it. That's the Holy Bible. So let me quickly take, because of time, First Corinthians chapter 13, I will take from verses 4 to the very last verse, which is verse 13. Love is patience, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Verse 6. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts. Always hopes, always perseveres. Verse 8. Love never fails. Take note of that. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in parts and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. Verse 11. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. Verse 12, for now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. 
then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Yes, the last verse, exactly where we're going. And now these three remains, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Hmm. He loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say Take note of 1 Corinthians 13 from verses 4 to the last verse, which, was, which is verse 13. And now we shall go to John chapter 13, verses 12 to 14. John chapter 13 from verses 12 to 14. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to the place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. Verse 13. You called me teacher and Lord. And rightly so. For that is what I am. Verse 14. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed, you also should wash one another's feet. Who was speaking here? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People of God. From these two books we have just read, you would agree with me that God Almighty, in His infinite mercy and favor, created mankind in His own image and likeness and mandated them to love one another in order to live in tune with him, their creator. Right from the very beginning of creation. And when we say mankind, we simply mean flesh and blood without perfection. At the very beginning, then, the relationship, the rapport, the closeness, the relationship between God Almighty and mankind was as good as the relationship between a faithful and kind father and a good child. Affection and love was constant. Then, man could speak to God 
and God could speak to man. And both could understand each other without any issue at all. Then, But unfortunately, mankind in their usual deceptive and crafty nature permitted Satan to come into their hearts to steal that very love and care, that very genuine love they had for God Almighty in the first place and then for one another too sad too sad consequently enmity began to reign between man and man and the most painful aspects is why should man decide to see God as an enemy consequently man became a wolf to man Man became a lion to man. Man became a snake to man. Too sad. Too sad. As a matter of fact, Spirit of stealing, killing, and destruction became resident in the heart of man from then to date. Where then is the very genuine love Jesus Christ died for? Symbolized today being a good Friday. Where is the genuine love? Where is the genuine love he was crucified for? Where is the genuine love he went on the cross for? find genuine love among individuals today? Can we still find genuine love among siblings today? Can we still find genuine love among friends today? Can we still find genuine love among couples today? Due to the residence of Satan in the heart of man, today married couples have forgotten that the vow on the day of coming together was for better or worse. But today, infidelity is the order of the day in marriages. Where is the genuine love? Constant divorce has become a culture in marriages today. Where is the genuine love Jesus Christ died for and resurrected in power for? Where is the genuine love? Can we still find such genuine love? among leaders today?
Today, the assistant manager of a company, due to lack of genuine love, wouldn't mind that anything should happen to the general manager for him or her to take over. Where is the genuine love Jesus died for? We so much believe in pull-down syndrome. What is the meaning of pull-down syndrome? If one does not fall, another will not rise. Where is the genuine love Jesus Christ died for? Can we still find such genuine love among nations today? When you look into the media, the breaking news is war, 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 war everywhere. Innocent citizens are displaced. Far away from nations, they came together to build. You don't need to be a president to join hands in building a nation. As a citizen, your presence counts to build your nation. Your prayer counts to build your nation. Your efficiency as a civil servant counts to build your nation. Why should you be suddenly displaced from a country where you are bona fide member? Where is the genuine love Jesus Christ died for? I know this question is very difficult to answer because the heart of man, the soul of man has been sold to Satan. For various reasons. And today, very unfortunate to realize that Satan is now demanding for his own sacrifices and ritual rites from man himself. Why? It is categorically clear that the worship of God Almighty, which was decreed and declared to be in spirit and in truth, has been replaced by the worship of ancient idols everywhere. Have been replaced by the worship of deities and gods. The worship and practice of witchcraft and wizardry everywhere. The worship of man made spirits everywhere. Where is the love of Jesus? Where is that very love he died for and resurrected for? Where is the love? Ask yourselves as you're sitting down. As beautiful as you are created, as handsome as you are created, where is the genuine love you were created for in the first place? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Turn with me to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 19, I mean chapter 1, from verses 19 to 20. Isaiah chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. And I read, if you are willing and obedient, take notes. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. <laughs> Isaiah 
People of God, listen to me. God does not need our permission to act. God does not need our intelligence, eloquence. God does not need our smartness. God does not need our presence to accomplish his plans and goodwill here on earth. He doesn't. Listen and quote me right. The handwriting on the wall, as we are talking now, from this year, 2022 to 2023. <laughs> The handwriting on the wall, as we can see, if you have spiritual eyes, you would agree with me that there's no more grace for the wicked and evildoers. Write it down. Except God does not exist. Except this is not a vision from him. I repeat, write it down. The handwriting on the wall, if you have spiritual eyes to see, you will concur. The handwriting on the wall depicts or shows the fact that <laughs> there's no more grace for evildoers and wicked people. Write it down. For how long shall God continue to be silent and witness the atrocities and wickedness of people he created in his own image and likeness? For how long? <laughs> listen and listen attentively. God has chosen to stand from a throne to break silence in order to bring judgment on earth. He who has ears, let him hear that judgment has come. The spiritual transformation in our society through the genuine love of God can be clearly understood when people love people and use things for the glory of God. I repeat, listen. I told you this is prophetic message as it is given to me, well packaged. I'm not permitted to mention names. I'm not permitted, I'm not permitted yet to mention countries. But from this message, you can see what is coming. The spiritual transformation, listen, and quote me right, the spiritual transformation in our present society through the genuine love of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is clearly comprehended, well understood, when people love people 
and use things for the glory of God. When I say things, I mean material acquisition, wealth, fame, popularity, power, authority you are seeking for. And by so doing, forget that someone created you. Spiritual transformation in our society through the genuine love of Jesus Christ is clearly understood when people love people and use things for the glory of God. But too often in this, our society, opposite is the case. Today, you can see that people use people and love things. People use people and love things this is the reason why there is slavery people use people and love things <laughs> this is the reason why there is ritual murders everywhere people use people and love things. This is the reason why there is occultic practices everywhere. People use people and love things. Tell your neighbor, As someone, I can't hear you, tell your neighbor, as someone who is created for the glory of God, please love people and use things for the glory of God. It is too sad to realize that the love of things has taken over the love of God in the first place, which overflows to the love of people. The love of things had made it possible for someone to wake up in the morning and begin to use people to gain things. That is why you can see a boy decide to use the father or the mother to get things. See a husband who claimed to love the wife decides to use the wife to get things. That is why the wife can decide to use the husband to get things. That is why friend can decide to use friend to get things. The love of things has taken over the love of God in the first place in the heart of man. Where genuine love of Jesus Christ abounds, people love people and use things for the glory of God. On the contrary, where hatred abounds, people use people and love things. 
before you can decide to use image of God like you for ritual, you must have loved things more than the image. <laughs> before you can decide to use your, your brother, your sister, your friend, or anyone, image of God, to get things because of the love of things, you must have hated people. If you have the genuine love of God in your heart, you can never use people. Rather, you will love people. War everywhere. Innocent people are being displaced from their home. They knew nowhere else, right from when they were born. Because people use people and love things. You love power, you don't mind image of God. But you want to destroy, you want to kill. <laughs> Write it down. This year, next year, you will see with your eyes. There is no hiding place for the wicked and evildoers anymore. Finally, on Sunday we shall continue because of what we have on ground. Before you cast a stone into the market to hurt someone, think of the day a stone was cast on your head, how you felt. If you were comfortable with that, go ahead and cast the stone. But if it is painful, don't do it to your brother. But if you insist on casting stone, I'm speaking to you in parable this time. If you insist to cast stone into the market, God says this year and next year, it will hit your family. It will hit your brother. It will hit your wife. It will hit your sister. It will hit your closest person. And eventually, come back to consume you. May the Lord bless his words. Beware of fraudsters. Viewers all over the world. It has come to our attention that some fraudsters are going around requesting for funds from people who are too desperate and impatient to follow the right procedure in order to locate the right channel or the right source. These fraudsters parade themselves as representatives of Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, or Wise Man Daniel himself. They are fake. They are fraudsters. Please do not fall for their tricks and tactics. Below are some of the fake YouTube channels and social media handles created by these fraudsters in order to deceive you, our viewers. are our official social media accounts and contact details. Our official YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Our official Instagram handle is Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Congratulations viewers all over the world. We are now on Facebook and on Twitter. Our official Facebook handle is facebook.com forward slash Wiseman Daniel Official. Our official Twitter handle is twitter.com forward slash WMD Ministries. Our TikTok handle is at Wise Men Daniel Ministries. Our official website addresses are www.elohimonline.org. www.christstandard.tv
Our official email addresses are info at elohimonline.org and info at ChristStandard.tv. These are our contact details and they are all available on WhatsApp. Our prayer request line is plus 234-902-147-0247. Our testimony line is plus 234-901-511. 3002. Our inquiry lines are plus 234-704-094-5007 and plus 234-904-882-4874. Our partnership lines are plus 234-703-144-8611. And plus 234-906-141-4886. And do remember, all of these numbers are available on WhatsApp. Viewers all over the world, note that any other website addresses, social media handles, or contact details, apart from the ones we have listed above, are not from Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, nor from Wise Man Daniel himself. God bless you. Elohim, God lives in us. John 14 verse 23.